Today I am speaking to Bruce and I asked Bruce to give us some of his time because he works in a sector that I've never really explored for our students very much, which I think is a little bit of an oversight because it is a huge sector. Um, and uh, it's one that, you know, so many people go into and, you know, has, has huge possibilities, but I've really never explored it. So Bruce, thanks for, for, for joining us. If you can give us a little bit of a background and an introduction to, um, to you, what you do, what you're currently doing, and then the very interesting sector that you're in that we're going to be discussing. Mm. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Yvonne, and thanks for the opportunity to, to come and share. Um, so my background, I'm a, I'm a CA by training, uh, CA SA. Um, I started off uh, doing the typical uh, private sector story, went to a big four firm, did my articles, and spent a few more years after that uh, auditing. Um, and then I, then I kind of, I, for various reasons, decided to leave the profession completely for a while and went and worked in a church for three years as a, oh, okay. as a youth pastor, uh, okay. which, was, which was pretty cool and pretty different. Um, yeah. just, didn't pay, just didn't pay quite as well. So it lasted, <laughs> it lasted three years and then I needed to make another plan. Um, and kind of almost by accident found myself at the Auditor General of South Africa, the AGSA, uh, where I was doing uh, kind of technical learning and development work. Yeah. So basically teaching the auditors how to audit. Uh, I've always had an interest in kind of the education side, although I've never lectured, but I was always interested in training and, and that side of things. Um, and because of this job, I ended up finding myself in the world of the public sector, which is what we're going to be chatting about today. Um, and it was a, just an incredible opportunity to open up new doors uh, in my career and to learn new things and to find myself in a job where it wasn't about, you know, making money for the partners or, yeah. or making money for the shareholders or, yeah. or anything like that, but rather about really making a difference uh, in your country. Um, yeah. and, and that really kind of, I suppose, sort of spoke to me, especially you know, at the time in the church and that obviously I was always interested in trying to, trying to help people. Uh, but now I could use my profession to, to do that. Um, after spending three years at, at the AGSA, I, I ended up uh, in a really cool role where I'm now working on an African project, something we call the African Professionalization Initiative, which really is it's, it's a collaboration between various stakeholders, including Auditors General, um, including uh, Accountants General from governments, the, the people who work in, in the, the, the National Treasury and, and the equivalents across the continent, uh, as well as the accounting profession. And what we're trying to do is, is trying to grow the number of accountancy professionals, uh, chartered accountants or the equivalent, who, are wor who work in the public sector. Uh, so it's, it's no accident that most accountants or most students who are aspiring to be accountants don't know about the opportunities yeah. in the public sector because typically that hasn't been the focus of the profession. Uh, but in recent years, that started to change, and and I, I'm sure I don't need to tell you why why we need accountants to yeah. to help improve public finance uh, and yeah. and to ensure that funds are actually used to benefit citizens. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah. So, so my project now is on on the African Professionalization Initiative. I, I probably won't talk about the details of that too yeah. much today, but if the any of the students are interested, we have a, we have a website, uh, professionalization.africa. Okay. So if you can spell professionalization with an S, <laughs> not a Z, uh, you, can, you can find out information about us. And there's a, there's a video there that you can watch. It's about six right. minutes long. Just we'll to, put, um, I'll put the link. Uh, I'll put the link hmm. in the article and, and the YouTube afterwards so that they don't have Great. to worry about the spelling. Awesome. <laughs> okay. So just to yeah. clarify, the, the, the project that you're on relates not just to South Africa. That's an African, yeah. that's an African thing. So you're kind of working yeah. across the whole of Africa. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So we, we're trying to address a problem that exists across the continent and trying okay. to create value at a, at a regional level, at a continental level. Yeah. Um, so that includes various elements. So we, we're trying to ensure that accounting curriculum actually addresses the public sector so that when um, you're studying as a student, you might get exposed to some of the uniqueness yeah. of, of the public sector, our standards and so on. Yeah. Um, as well as trying to just build capacity and ensure that people who work in government now get opportunities to, to get the training that, you know, many of yeah. your students mm -hmm. take for granted. Yeah. Fair enough. 